November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and many experts say the way some Kentuckians are trying to quit smoking may be doing more harm than good. Danielle Miskell is here to explain. Danielle. Okay, so three cigarettes can cause more air pollution than a diesel car's exhaust, and this is according to WebMD. Right now, about 15% of Americans are smokers, and in Kentucky, the number is 24%. So while our rate of smoking is higher, one thing is universal, that the majority of smoker, smokers say they want to quit. And we lose about 3,000 Kentuckians a year to lung cancer. And the cause of cancer doesn't just come from smoking cigarettes. It's also exposure to radon. It's kind of an invisible gas that's underneath the home. Smoking cigarettes and radon are the leading causes of lung cancer. However, there is a possible third killer, vaping. Imagine heating something up and inhaling it into your lungs that is a sticky aerosol creates lots and lots of issues for the lungs. Cancer control specialist Tanya Polly says many smokers are now vaping to quit smoking. I hear a lot of people think that it's, it's mist. That's actually aerosol. Um, aerosol like what your hairspray is or what your deodorant, spray deodorant might be. But smokers still think vaping is harmless. A lot of the chemicals that they put in there, and the salts and different things that they'll use, is to make that numbing effect. Um, one Juul Pod, I don't know if you've ever seen a Juul Pod, has enough nicotine for an entire pack of cigarettes. The Puff Bar, which is new on the market, is made from synthetic nicotine. So there's definitely premature aging, there's strokes, there's heart attacks, all those things that are also related to smoking. Polly says quitting smoking is a process. It's important for a smoker to find a plan that works for them. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to use your phone, then I'm not going to recommend an app to you. If you're somebody that doesn't like to answer your phone, then the quit line may not be for you. And use something reputable and evidence-based. On average, it takes people about seven times to become successfully non-smoker or n not using tobacco of any kind. So making sure that they're not getting frustrated using something that may not work. For those trying to quit smoking, Tanya Polly recommends a free program for Tuckians called Plan to Be Tobacco Free. She also says free radon test kits are available for homeowners. And to find those resources, head to this story on fox56news.com. I'm Danielle Miskell. Back to you.